now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Look for pretty much clear skies tonight. Temperatures will be dropping through the 70s this evening into the upper 60s by 11 p.m. And then tomorrow morning we start off in the low 60s up to 64 at 8 o'clock with 82 at noon, 88 at 5 p.m. Around 4 o'clock or so though we could hit the 90 degree mark tomorrow. It's going to be a hot day or at least a hot afternoon after a fairly pleasant start. Clear mild night on the way in our weather headlines and then the summer weather returns to our region as we get to tomorrow and it'll stay with us really pretty much through the end of the week. There will be a chance for some scattered thunderstorms for the last half of the week. Spotty on Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday. We may see a little more coverage on Friday with a cold front moving in. Low temperatures tonight expected to drop down into the low 60s in our area. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting temperatures up near 90 degrees. But look at the low to mid 90s, even some upper 90s down south over parts of Kentucky and southern Indiana with 80s farther north. So the heat's building in, uh, not necessarily a heat wave, but still could be up around 90 for the next three days. And then maybe a little bit cooler Friday, a little more cloud cover around with that front moving in, the chance of thunderstorms. Storms. Goodwill Auto Auction camera, the time lapse there uh, showing clear skies for the most part, just a couple of patchy fair weather clouds. Live Doppler 2 HD, totally dry tonight, no problems in our area, but we do have watches in effect northwest of us with that warm front lifting northeastward, a tornado watch in effect over uh, parts of Iowa, and also we're looking at some stronger thunderstorms farther to the north, but high pressure northeast of us keeping us nice and dry. We're currently 83, we have an east wind at 6, the dew point not terrible terribly bad at 61, 47% the relative humidity. So pleasantly warm conditions out there this evening. Scott Biesecker, our weather checker in Bradford, 83 degrees. Gary Rust in Camden, the warm spot at 85 tonight. And Jim Robbins in Beaver Creek sitting right around 80. Bill Telzero out in Greene County also at 83. Dew point values started off in the 50s this morning. Climbing up to the low 60s now, but look at the mid to upper 60s west of us and even 70s out in Illinois. That's like mid-July kind of humidity. And look at that dark green area to the west of us. Well, that'll be spreading northeast here for tomorrow and into Wednesday. So humidity levels will be climbing and maybe time to flip that AC on again after tonight. Our future track forecast showing the clear skies over the area for the most part here tonight and tomorrow. A lot of sunshine expected throughout the day on Tuesday. And then finally, a few more clouds start to move back into the area later Tuesday night and into Wednesday. We'll even see the chance by the especially Wednesday afternoon of a couple of spotty showers and thunderstorms going up too in that hot, humid air. Mostly clear skies. It'll be mild tonight down to 62. Sunset over the weekend moved to the other side of 8 o'clock, 756 tonight. East southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunny, hot, more humid day tomorrow up near 90, almost back to quarter after 7 before we see that sun come up. 75 at 10 o'clock with 82 at noon and then up around 90 at 4 p.m. and 87 at 6 o'clock. Upper 80s Wednesday and Thursday. Nighttime lows muggy around 70. There will be a chance of a shower or thunderstorm. There's that little better chance of rain Friday 86. And then over the weekend we cool off slightly back into the low to mid 80s and nighttime lows in the low 60s. But at least some dry weather for Saturday and Sunday. Still a little bit above normal.